right, guys. Uh, as you can see, we're rolling on along with our uh, complete car build. So we've uh, we fit all the body and all the panels on the interior, and we fit the windows. Uh, we've got all the accessories mounted on the uh, chassis. So uh, it's time to come off the table. We've stripped the body off, and uh, we actually have a couple turn styles that we use here at the shop to uh, put the chassis on after it comes off the table. So it's time to do the final welding and fitment of a few pieces that you can't get to really easily while it's on the body table. But these, uh, these turnstiles make it easy to flip the car around on four different sides and do all the final welding and get into all the corners that you can't access at any other time. So we've, uh, we've got it off, we've went over uh, all the pieces, we've got everything on this chassis. So it's ready to go to powder coat at the end of this week. And uh, we've just got to uh, wrap up a few things on the, on the floor area and a few little minor accessories do some finished sanding, um, go around and check to make sure all the welds are completed, go around each of the accessory tubes and make sure that the welds touch and that there's no spaces missing. You'll see we've got the floors already in it. Uh, one of the things I wanted to touch on was these stiffeners right here. I, I kind of explained this earlier when we were looking at the floors from the top side, but uh, so the the driver's floor, uh, everybody's rules are the same for the driver's floor here. That, that has to be steel and it needs to be welded in. And uh, I explained to you earlier how we do the, the skip stitch welding. So we'll, we'll weld an inch and then we'll skip two inches and we weld an inch and skip two. So the top side of this floor is welded to the top of the uh, frame rails and the chassis tubing. But then on the bottom side, we use these, uh, this little stiffener bracket here, and we have these in stock. They're laser cut strips, and they're already scalloped out, and they have the hole in them for a 632. But uh, these are bent at, at 90, and uh, what it offers is we can go inside the perimeter of this floor area and gusset this up with this strip. So if this strip wasn't on here, you could, you could, if you tap on this, you can hear how solid it is. So. What happens is uh, the vibration from the engine over time kind of flexes these panels. It just vibrates them ever so slowly and it'll crack those welds on the top. And I'm talking after years of use, but these welds will start to show some, some cracks just from the fatigue of that uh, metal vibrating. So these little stiffener strips, they kill that vibration. They stop it from getting out from here out to the weld. So these are broke at 90, and then they're fit in the corners, and then uh, they're welded in the same way. You can see they have an inch weld and skip two, and the corners all miter together and fit up, and then we'll come from the bottom here, and we'll drill through the holes that are already in here. And then we use a 632 stainless button head and a thin nylock um, nut on the bottom. So these are really nice because now we've taken that, uh, that issue that will arise from the uh, from the fatigue on those welds and you just eliminate it. You won't have any trouble with it at all. So, so these are nice. They, they come in a long strip and uh, you can, uh, we, we actually send them out. Uh, you, can, you can have us break them into the 90 or you can just throw them in your brake and do that. But um, you just cut them to length and fit them in the corners and then tack them in, drill your holes in them, weld them up and you're done. And I'm telling you, it works perfectly. It, it will keep that fatigue um, from those welds and, and make that floor last uh, a lot longer than without it. Uh, another thing you can see too is we added uh, one that was off the table is the removable trans cross member. Um, these are in a you know variety of widths depending on the transmission. It's a power glide car so that has a real narrow tail section plus this car has a full tunnel so we want to get this uh, separator in here far enough in so that the tunnel doesn't um, affect the tabs on the, the uh, dropout cross member. So this will um, now easily, if you want to drop the transmission out the bottom, you can just take these bolts loose, drop this piece out, transmission goes straight down, slide it out from underneath the car. So uh, we just put this in today and um, welded it up so it's ready to go. So like I said, now you can see how easy it is to get to all of these places that um, need to be welded up and finished off and sanded. and you can see some some sanding going on around here and we'll we'll kind of run over all these tubes and run your hand around and look for any burrs that might be left on it and deburr all the holes and make sure that it's ready to go to powder coat so uh so this thing's getting really close so we'll uh we'll be sending this off the end of the week uh powder coat will have it for a couple days when it comes back 
we'll be ready to put the uh, the body back on it. We'll put the roof and quarters on it permanently, and then we'll also put the uh, the doors and the front end on it and, and fit our door gaps and final fit some of that stuff. Mm -hmm.